Dan has been practicing lean forever. <laughs> a long time. It's really interesting to see the difference between lean in construction and lean in design. Because they are different, but they affect each other greatly. For instance, if a builder builds what's in the design, you can end up with something like this. Not a pretty sight. So they might be on time and on budget, but are they actually what the customer was looking for? I think this is a, a few pretty comical examples of what actually has been constructed to plan as well. Yes. <laughs> so the design process that we see, it's a linear process, is it not, Dan? Yeah, aspirationally, it's a linear process. It's supposed to start with schematic design, and then at some point that's complete, and we launch into DD, and, and we're at 50% DD, by the way, the definition of which no one agrees on, <laughs> uh, and, and then we're at 95% DD, but actually, are then? we? The what problem happened? is the owner changes his mind. And we're back into rework. So we're starting over and we're looping and, and, and we, but we've got a deadline to meet. So we finish DD and we move into the document phase. We got to rework again. And then we got to launch construction because it's, we've already got a schedule. There's a deadline. Oh yeah. my God, but we still haven't finished design. <laughs> so it this, isn't very linear. It's more it's like not, this. Yeah, 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 absolutely. So design is a crazy iterative process that goes round and round in loops that you can't really predict most of the time because of change and that affects a lot of rework. And so it can be quite a complex process. It, it kind of looks like me walking in the park, a spaghetti diagram of me <laughs> walking in the park. The problem is the design manager or the contractor, if it's a design build, has put a line in the schedule that says that's, that's DD, 50% is going to be done on September 24th, period. Must be done. Yep. It's got to be done by then. And, and life isn't one, like that. It one, is not one bar. One bar. It, one bar. Yeah. So not, not very useful to many people. So no, no. what is lean design? When we talk about design and when we apply lean, we hear lots of terms banded around. Can you unpack a couple of these? Kaizen means improvement. Uh, BIM, you know all about, virtual design and construction. Scrums as a part of the process. Lean in design does not mean less design. Perfect. Uh, and that's the important distinction. It's creating value for customers while minimizing waste for the design team. Rather than redesign, redesign, redesign based on changes, it's a way to design with less waste. Perfect. So understanding what the customer needs yep. and really delivering that, not much else. And, and understanding what the designers need so that we, that we release work in a way that releases more work and we design as, as information is needed. Many of you have seen seven or eight classic ways. Rework is the big problem in design. In some cases, overproduction. Over-engineering is a problem. There are a lot of resources for it. You know, as you look at those books there, Clive, there's one that's missing. Ah. Oh, oh there, there it is. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic to have Dan on because he has just such a deep bench of knowledge about this subject. And we've worked together in the past on some really fantastic projects that have helped us understand how to improve and support that lean design methodology. So really, really pleased to have Dan on the team. There are lots of other groups around the world and one of the, the, the biggest movements is the LCI. Lean Construction Institute was founded in the late 90s and really kind of kicked into gear about 2010. Its annual congresses draw about 1,600 people into major ballrooms. This was uh, in Chicago. Around yep. the U.S., yeah. Uh, and there are LCI institutes in other parts of the world. Some of you may want to have one near you. And, and so we talk about lean, we talk about design, and BIM is a big part of the two of those. Yeah. But so is BIM always lean? Uh, what could go wrong? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, because BIM is a process uh, as much as a product. And processes may or may not be lean. 